Hi folks, here in North America we have this funny looking receptacle which kind of looks like a surprised face with one eye bigger than the other and a big open mouth. Other countries have similar odd shaped receptacles for similar reasons. I'm going to give you a bit of a history lesson to explain how it came about and why it is like it is. In our electrical system, for electricity to flow we really need only two wires. The actual electrons in the wires don't go very far, they just move back and forth, what we call AC or alternating current. And originally that's all we had. The receptacle had just two identical holes in it. The problem is that by interacting with the surrounding air, the long wires leading back to the generating plant would build up a different form of electricity called static electricity. This is just a buildup of electrons that aren't going anywhere. The problem was that this buildup of electrons got so great that eventually they'd all of a sudden burst out of receptacles and shock people. Another problem occurred when lightning struck the wires. This would cause a sudden surge of electrons flowing through the wires which could cause damage to appliances that were plugged in or even jump out of wires behind walls to shock people nearby. This was all solved by connecting one of the two wires to the earth, or ground as we call it. Electrons no longer built up on the wires but went to ground instead and that electrical current from lightning strikes also went safely to ground. But now there was a new problem. Our bodies can conduct electricity. If we're in contact with the ground and we're not wearing shoes that don't conduct electricity, like ones with thick rubber soles, then we're a conductor to ground. If we touch the wire that's connected to ground, then there's no problem. But if we touch the other wire, then the electricity will conduct through us to ground. We get shocked. The solution? Everyone was taught not to do that. To further emphasize the danger, the grounded wire became known as the neutral wire and the ungrounded wire became named hot. Different colors were used for the insulation on the two wires. In North America the neutral one was colored white and extra insulation was added to the wires, especially the hot one. But there was still another problem. Some manufacturers were connecting one of the wires to the metal cases of appliances. If that was the hot wire and a person who was in contact with the ground touched the case, they got shocked. Rather than make manufacturers change the way their products work, they were told to use the neutral wire when connecting to the cases. Since the neutral wires connected to ground, there was no problem. Also the plugs were changed. The neutral prong was made wider than the hot prong. And of course that means the receptacles changed to have one hole taller than the other hole. That also meant the electricians now had to connect the neutral wire to the taller hole and the hot wire to the shorter hole. But that still left a problem. What if the hot wire inside the case becomes damaged and touches the case? Since the case is connected to the neutral wire, the electrical current should go to ground, possibly tripping a breaker on the way. But what if the metal case isn't connected to the neutral wire? Or if the electrician wired the receptacle holes backward? When someone touched the case, they got shocked. The solution? A third wire was added, whose only purpose was to be connected to earth ground. Manufacturers were told to always connect metal cases to this wire. In North America, the insulation for this wire was colored green to be a different color than the other wires. Of course, that meant we now needed a third prong in the plug and a third hole in the receptacle. The new prong was made to look very different than the other prongs and so was the hole. That way there'd be no chance of connecting anything incorrectly. And that's the story of how we got our surprise face receptacle. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more informative and sometimes humorous videos. That includes one on how to make a radio that doesn't need batteries, a homemade solar panel for a calculator, and one explaining nuclear energy in the sun. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or a comment below. See you soon!